Today on Beyond. This woman's murder has gone unsolved for years. I will never know truly what happened or the why, because Kathy was not here to tell us. What happens when the lead detective takes James to the scene of the crime? Yeah, your suspects are right here. But first. The reason for me being here today is to connect with my mother who committed suicide. My mom and dad bickered often, and I always felt like I was caught in the middle of their arguments. Being eight months pregnant, for my sanity and for my baby, I just refused to talk to them any longer, take their phone calls. My mom made a phone call to me the week she passed away, and she said, I love you, I love Donovan, my son. I'm going to miss you terribly. I'm sorry I never got a chance to see your new home. And I chose not to return her phone call. I just feel so guilty that if I only returned her phone call, then maybe I could have made a difference and she would still be here today. When my mother took her life, she left a letter. And this is her goodbye letter to me. Mitchell. I'm sorry it happened this way. I'm very sad about my life. I can't stand this situation anymore. The more I try to make it better, it just seems to get worse. But it's okay, it's over. I just can't stand the pain anymore. I love you with all my heart. Sorry again. Love, Mom. Using his extraordinary psychic ability to communicate with spirits, he's transformed lives by unlocking mysteries and sharing secrets from the other side. James Van Prague, best-selling author, renowned medium, and your connection to the world beyond. Hi, Mitchell Koo, is that your name? Nice. Mitchell Mitch Koo. Mitchell Koo, yes, yes. nice to meet you, Mitchell Nice Mitch to meet you, too. My name's James, nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you for coming here today. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I know your mom, you want to contact your mom? Yes. Who uh, committed suicide, yes? yes? Okay. So I'll do what I can do, all right? Thank we'll you. We'll see what happens for you. Um, her father, is he also in spirit, please? Your mom's dad? Yes, Okay. Yes. Because he came to get her when she crossed over, oh, okay? Really? I must tell you that. I'm seeing a lot of white flowers, like carnations. Mm -hmm. And um, not only carnations, I've seen gladiolas. I've seen a lot of gladiolas, like white gladiolas. And uh, that, I'm sorry, what else? Oh, I'm sorry, gardenias. Oh. Gardenias. I want to talk to you about smelling gardenias, okay. the fragrance of gardenia, having a perfume with a gardenia smell. You know what? That's mine. OK, so that's what it means. And okay. yes. Because I don't know what it means. She's just talking about that. Your mom's okay. talking here, talking to me about that. I want to also ask, is her mother also in the spirit yes, world, please? Yes, she is. She just, I don't know, she's recent or there's a, she's in something about being new, okay? Yes. That passes over into the spirit world. Yeah, it's my grandmother. Okay. She just passed away last year. Okay. Well, she's just talking to me about someone else came over with her. Okay. <clears throat> she feels she let you down. She oh. says she felt she let you down. Yeah, she felt she let you down. And she didn't mean to let you down, okay? No, didn't no. mean to let you down. We've often had this discussion. Okay, she's, okay, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. She wants to give sorry, she's talking about being sorry, or talking about this sort of thing, and I feel very depressed with her. Yes. For a long time, yes. for a long, long time. Oh my God, I yes. feel like she tried running away from things. Yes. She wanted to run away, but she had, did have the courage to run away. Yes. Okay? Um, who owns an apartment building, or want to manage an apartment building? My, my father-in-law. Okay. Um, owned an apartment building. He's now the, I don't know, the leaser. Or the manager of it. Well, he owned it, yeah, I guess he, he's a, the, the contract, the leaser now that okay. somebody else There's just acknowledgement it. about this, and I don't oh, know well. if you must have been talking about it recently, or, but there was... No, 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 that hasn't brought up, I haven't brought that up at all. Okay, well, just okay. be aware that she talked about that. Okay. Did her and your dad not get along? Yes. My father. Because there's, there's, there's a problem with him. She's yes, talking about. They, they, they're separated. They went through a separation. Well, well, let me just tell you, she knows she complained a lot about your daddy. Yeah. Okay? And she's sorry mm -hmm. that, and she says she doesn't want you to feel um, guilty that you didn't listen to her. Really? I don't know what this means. And I, don't, I would not feel bad about you not talking to her the final time or, you understand? 
you understand that? I want you to be, because your mother's okay with that. Okay. And your mother's telling me that she couldn't handle her emotions. Yes. She could not handle her emotions. She wasn't herself. She couldn't, she couldn't do it. And she's gotten help. She just oh, says, she wants to, to, to know that. I wanted to know she's getting help. What about the baby? She's talking about the baby. Is it a girl that you have Yes, there? yes. And did you want to name her with your mother's or something to do with oh your mother's name? Oh my God. My uh, middle name I is didn't. mother's? No, What is no. it? She's it's, talking about a name with your daughter. My daughter's name is Sheridan Michaela, and after I named her, gave her the name Michaela, I thought to myself, I wish I gave her my mother's name. Oh, I've okay. said that often. Okay. Don't worry yourself about that. Okay. Don't worry yourself about that. Mm -hmm. Does she have a message from yes. my father? Yes. Just, you must be psych. I was going to say no. to you, <laughs> you're freaking me out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Because she keeps on wanting to say that, please tell him it wasn't his fault either, because he feels very guilty. Okay. And she said, he, it wasn't him that did this. It was myself. Okay. So please tell him not to feel guilty about okay. this. She's a gentle lady. Mm -hmm. She's a very gentle lady, but when she wants a point across, she gets it across. Oh, that's her, definitely. You know, she gets it across. Oh, yeah. So she's in a better place. She's, she's in a happy. much better place. Yeah, she's very happy. Okay. All right? Okay. Thank you so <laughs> You're much. You're welcome, sweetheart. You so much. You're welcome. Yeah. And I don't, I would not feel bad about you not talking to her the final time or, understand? I get the impression that you really feel guilty about what happened to your mother. I wondered if I could have prevented her death if I only called her back when she left that disturbing phone call. What did your mom do? How did she, how did she die? Sleeping pills. Sleeping Overdose pills. sleeping pills. So today you heard James tell you mm -hmm. this had nothing to do with you. Yes. How does that make you feel? Coming from her, it just means a lot to me. And for her to say this for my father as well because he's hurting so much. Was there a moment for you that made you go, wow, James really made a connection with my mom today? Oh, her personality, he was on the dot. She's a very gentle lady, but when she wants a point across, she gets it across. Oh, that's her, definitely. She was very strong-headed, and um, she had a lot of gusto for being a little lady. <laughs> <laughs> and you're able to smile. I'm so happy. Thank you very much for Thank coming. You. I'm glad it was good for you. Thank you very much. Still to come. What starts out as a normal reading in the studio? Is there someone on this side of the room who has their mother's brush and comb set? Yes. <laughs> turns into a psychic free-for-all. Is that your boy? Are you in South America? Your husband passed over too? Yes. Okay, sorry, we have the whole row here. Plus, this 20-year-old's killer is still at large. Can James give the detective clues to making an arrest? We have a park that fits that description. I totally, totally get it. Find out next. On Beyond. Twenty-year-old Kathy Torres was killed eight years ago, and her body was found in the trunk of a car. And today, her murder still remains unsolved. Kathy's mom and sister, as well as the lead detective in the case, asked me to sit down with them to see if I could help. Here's what happened. She was my baby. She was 20 years old, but to a mother, no matter how old your children are, whether they be 50, 60, and if one is still alive, they're still your babies. Kathy was my big sister, and we shared our room together, and we shared our lives together. I admired everything she did. I knew when I was young that I wanted to be just like her. I will never know truly what happened or the why, because Kathy will not is not here to tell us. On uh, February 12th, 1994, at approximately 8 p.m., uh, Kathy Torres, who was a college student at a local university, uh, called her mom and told her she'd be leaving work. She uh, had said goodbye to a coworker, made her way to her vehicle, and proceeded out of the parking lot of that store. She wasn't seen ever again alive. About a week later, on February 19th, uh, one of our officers located Kathy's vehicle parked in the parking lot of a local hospital uh, and later we found her body in the trunk of that vehicle. Well, facts in this case uh, are certainly known to the public and of course like most investigations we do keep some of that confidential. I would be certainly open to hearing if any of those confidential items were uh, listed by James today. I'm gonna tell you what I pick up right here when I, when I look at this whole thing with this girl. Um, I have a sense that this person that did this um, 
is a male Hispanic. I have a sense that this man knew her, and I'm not sure if there's association with work. I see a lot of dark hair, curly hair, and I see him having something on his nose. His nose is broken, or there's a scar here, or it's crooked. Are there like, a, sounds weird, like a woods around here, or a place they can go desolate? Because I feel they go somewhere with this girl, and I feel they rape her, or they do something with her, and then they kill her and dump her. We have a park that fits that description. I totally, totally get it. And yeah, your suspects are right here. You gonna give me that photo, that uh, drawing you have? If you want it, yeah. I'd like to take that sure. at hand. Okay, James, this is the uh, hospital parking lot where our patrol officers located Kathy's vehicle. Is there a side entrance here that they can, like a side employee's entrance on the side, you know? Yes. Because the man uses that employee's entrance right there. So you can know that. Got it. I feel that there's a connection with the person that did this and worked here. So I definitely feel that. And I feel if you check the employee records that time, and um, I would definitely check the radiology department. James has provided me with several items uh, that were not made public. Um, that, it, that did impress me. Uh, the fact that uh, the Placentia Police Department uh, took an active role today with James would certainly re-energize this case. I'm hoping that James will be able to answer some of the questions that we have to give us peace of mind, if nothing else. I want to thank you very much, Mary, right, Mary yes. and Debbie, yes. I know I worked with the detective this morning, and um, I got some good things because I was picking up things from your daughter. Um, just because we want to focus on one person, though, that doesn't mean that person will show up, maybe someone else shows up. So I got to let you know that's part of it. I just really open myself up to whatever energies I pick up, and that's how it works, OK? There's a lady and a man standing behind you. And I want to tell you, it's like a mother figure of yours. Do you understand that? Yes. And your father. And they say, we are here. We are here with you. And um, we have her with us. They have your daughter. And she's here. I know she's here, because she's been with me all morning. She loves to sing. Yes. And in her room, you hear her singing all the time. And she said, I still sing. And she wants to tell you that, OK? And I know that you smell her perfume sometimes. Because she said, they smell my perfume because I send it to them. I send it to them. I send it to them. <laughs> and you know, it's me. As I know you still have a bottle of her perfume, too, or you had, you yeah. still have it. You understand? And she looks about, um, like when she used to talk, her hands were always busy. You know? You remember her? She was explaining with her hands all the time, all the time. And, um, and she talks about birds, and birds flying. And there was, um, there was a dove or something flown, and you thought it was a, it's a sign from her or something, but some better bird. Mm -hmm. Understand this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And she said it was me, and that's why you felt it was. She, she impressed you. And um, the candles that you light, you light candles. She sees you lighting and, and praying these prayers about her, and she wants you to know she's with God. She's with God, so you've nothing to worry about her. You can teach your mom. <laughs> Yeah, you can. You can teach your mom to take care of herself, to be good to herself, because she's not good to herself, and you need to teach her that, because she won't do it. So you have to be the mom. You understand? They smell my perfume because I send it to them. I feel like I get a whiff of her perfume on my phone. She's still around. She was explaining with her hands all the time. Yeah, Kathy also used her hands a lot when she spoke. She'd really get into the conversation, and for a very small person, she had a lot of energy. She loves to sing. And she just loved to sing. You could always hear her in the house. Outside of the house, you could hear her sing. You move on, but you don't forget. You don't forget what has happened. I know Kathy is better off than what I am here. I know that she's in a better place. Next. There's three in the family, is that right? Three kids, or? Th I just th went blank. Psychic amnesia strikes again. I'm like. Okay, that's right. <gasps> Let me tell you about your family. Um. <laughs> Next, on Beyond. We now join James in the audience. <clears throat> is there someone on this side of the room who has their mother's brush and comb set? OK, and is there a mirror close by there, too, or it's next to her mirror? Did she also have a mirror there, or is it next to a mirror? Yes. OK. What's your name, please? Kathy. Kathy, OK. Good, Kathy. How are you? Nervous. <laughs> You're nervous. I know I can tell. 
Relax, just breathe, breathe, breathe. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is there another Kathy in the family, please? Another Kathleen or Catherine? My grandmother. Your grandmother, who's also passed over, yes? She's talking about you putting fabrics together and colors together. You must have recently done something with designing a room or designing something. Does that make sense, please? Yes. Okay. And I want to go even to a fabric store or stores and looking at patterns. And she's telling me you're doing this. So it must be this, this whole thing. Okay? Yes. Good, good. Just, it's just validation, you know. It's just evidence that, you're, that she's around you, okay? She's telling me you switched color paint or you didn't like the color and you had... <laughs> remember this? And you had to either bring it back or you had to change it over. Yes. <laughs> Nothing sacred anymore in your life. They know it all, don't worry. It's just acknowledgement that she's seen you do this. Now, she's telling me that, um, I don't know if one is a seafoam color, like a greenish color, a seafoam color. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to ask you, did you know anyone in the family, or do you know a friend who went through a fire? I want to tell you this, a little boy in spirit who dies from a fire, and I'm not sure if it's someone I would think then it's someone you must know, or you'll... So I'm like, please keep it then, because I need to, I need to give that to you, because that's what they're showing me. Is there anyone around here who knows someone? Okay, what does this make sense? Is that your boy? Um, my stepson. Your stepson, okay, I'm sorry. So he's coming in here with, with her, with you. So I'll come to you and just stay right there. You can stand up, that's okay. But he's coming in choking, and he's showing me this with a fire, so I gotta <gasps> acknowledge that in a second, okay? Sorry, stay there. <clears throat> Um, I'm not sure which one dies very, very fast, very quickly. Was it your father who died very fast, suddenly? Who had the heart thing? My father. He's talking about his heart going, stopping, and he's gone, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, I know you have uh, three in the family. He's talking about you know, three siblings you must have. There's three in the family. Is that right? Three kids or th I just went blank. I'm like... Okay, that's right. <gasps> Let me tell you about your family. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that he lived a full life, this man. He lived a full life. And um, I want you to know that he loves you extremely well. And even though he wasn't the one to come out and say it a lot, he really, he really wants you to know this. <laughs> anyway, um, you can sit down now. And you think about all those things that we came through with and make sense of not, right? i got to come here real quickly here. Um, this boy wants to thank you for helping his family out, too. Are you part of the family, then? Is he your stepson? I wasn't part of the family when he died. OK, who's Mike or Michael? Good friend. Good friend of yours named Michael. I don't know why, but I feel there's a parent over there for Michael. I just want to acknowledge his, that. His, okay. his father, father just passed away last well, night. Well, the father's okay. So would you please tell Michael I will. that his father is fine and they want to thank him for things he did right. Because Michael's very particular about getting everything right. Exactly. Okay, and he got it all right. Important he know that. Someone goes to South America. I don't know what that means. Some connection with South America is coming up. Hold on here. Are you going to South America? I just came back from South America. You just South came back America. from South America. Yeah. Well, I don't know why. Your husband passed over, too? Yes. Okay, sorry. We have the whole row here. Your husband is talking about going to South America with you. He still has people down there, by the way. There's still yes, family down there. I went to go see and, all of my okay. family. And I want to thank you also for sticking around for so long uh, with this man because he gives you so much love and you stuck it out with him. Right. Hold on one second. He is thrilled to be in spirit. Uh, he is thrilled to be in spirit. All right. Good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Apparently, your grandmother sees you decorating with paints and colors and fabrics. Do you feel like your grandmother's around you? Oh, definitely. Um, I never met my grandmother, and just when he said her name, Catherine, it, I'm named after her, and it just uh, blew me away. I want you to know that he loves you extremely well. He just wasn't very demonstrative, and when he said that he, how he really did love me, it felt very good. I just went blank. James calls this thing psychic amnesia, when he will say something to people and they have no idea what he's talking about and then later on it will kind of click in. There is just a lot. I, I, there's all kinds of feelings coming in and things I'm just really gonna, everything was awesome. I, I don't know what to say. It was okay, just awesome. Okay, I'll let you was, go then. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> if you'd like a chance for a reading with James, send a letter to Beyond. P.O. Box 4399, Hollywood, California, 90078. You know, 
I believe that each one of us come down here on this earth and we have a responsibility to discover the truth, the truth that lies within. We can only find that truth if we ask questions. That's how we learn. I hope you discover your own truth and I hope we help you do that today. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Is there someone here who brought a, a child's um, something in an envelope that belonged to a child of theirs? Okay, is this a son of yours that passed over? Okay, can I come to you please? Is this your wife also, or girlfriend? Girlfriend, your significant other, yes? Right.